Hello, I'm doing something a little um, different today. It's called Tipsy Tutorials, which means I drank some alcohol. And right now we'll do a, let's do a flashback of what I drank first. It's like 11 a.m. almost when I'm starting to film this. So I am about to make my drink and I thought I would make like a coffee something because it is kind of early. So I'm just going to put a little vodka in here, but I don't usually drink hard liquor. So I don't really know how much to put. So that's where we're starting with this. And we'll check back in a moment and you'll see how it went. And then I had like a little mini bottle of, of wine, like it's like a glass size or whatever. Oh, it's a twist on? It's disappointing. And then I just opened this cider. I remember you're supposed to do like your most alcohol and then like go down to your least alcohol. And that's how you um, like don't get sick or something. I, I should know these things. I'm well into my adult years. I didn't want to drink too much because I do have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to go to work. So I have to like turn down for adulthood. But I would say that if like legally drunk is 0.8, no, that's 80%, Point, point oh eight. So I would say I'm like around that area. Like if I had to like write a check to pay like my utility bill, I could. I'm not that, I'm not off living in Saturn right now. Have I always had a widow's peak? Don't remember having a widow's peak, but that couldn't just like grow overnight. Like it's just my hairline, right? So the look that we're gonna do for the inaugural, excuse me, tipsy tutorial is classic beauty. And so I'm gonna do like a kind of neutral eyeshadow with um, like liquid cat eye liner and like a red lip. We'll see how it turns out because it's not like I am um, 100% on my game, on my game. Is that right? So we're gonna start with, with eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be using this Coastal Scents, and here it is, and it's giant. Um, I don't use this that much because it's just, there's so many choices that it's kind of overwhelming. But we're gonna use it today. So I'm just gonna take like a kind of lightish and medium brown. Um, maybe this, maybe this one right here, and um, and put it on my eyelid from the lash line up to the crease. I know I'm not gonna do like a ton of eyeshadow because I want like the liner and the lip to be like the main focus. So um, I'm not gonna be like super crazy on eyeshadow. Which one? Okay, you pretty much can't see that. So in the crease, I think I'm gonna use like something a little bit darker, just so it kind of shows up a little more. Probably this one. This one. And I'm just gonna put this on the crease, but I can't, I can't remember if I said that, but I'm putting it on the crease. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I think that's good for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna um, do eyebrows next, and I'm gonna be using a combo of the Anastasia, I won't say Anastasia, it's just, it's a little much for me. Dip brow pomades, and I'm gonna do a combo of the blonde and the dark brown. So first I'm gonna do uh, the dark brown, and that I'm gonna use for mostly on like the tail of my eyebrows. Um, to use these dip brows, you really need a pretty stiff angled brush that works the best for them. Because if you have like kind of like a floppier one, it just is not that good. So I'm just going through like the arch of my, the arch of my brow all the way through the tail. And that's really where I'm gonna use the darker. And then I'll use the blonde on like the more front area of the brow. And I like to start by doing a line kind of on the bottom border of my eyebrow and then kind of just feathering it up to fill in. I think this is looking okay. It might not be the best work I've ever done, but I mean, it's not terrible. It could be worse. Okay, I think that's all right. Okay, now I'm gonna do liquid liner. Yeah, okay, when I do a liquid liner cat eye, 
I like to start by doing the outside like pointy edge first um, because it kind of sets up the shape and that's just the easiest way for me. I, I'll just do it and then you can see. So I start on the corner of my eye and I angle towards the tail of my brow and just draw a line. Well, I blinked when I was doing it, so <sighs> that wasn't that great. But then you, you take the end of the line and you angle it back towards your lash line and it makes kind of a triangle shape, but don't blink when you do it. Okay, so now you have the triangle shape on the end and then you just have to draw a line on the rest of your eye and then you can kind of make it like as thick or as thin as you want depending on how um, bold you want to look. Wow, it's pretty good. Maybe I just, know, I can do the kind of like um, riding a bicycle. But now the hard part is going to be to match this side and this side and make them not look like one is way crazy, worse or better or bigger or whatever than the other. This is looking pretty good. Like I don't know, maybe this is my gift. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara. The last thing I'm gonna do is lips, and I'm gonna do a, cra a classic red lip. I'm gonna start by using a lip liner all, all over my lip. It just helps the lipstick stay longer and be more uniform, and it kind of eliminates um, feathering and mess ups and that kind of thing. I'm going to go over it with a lipstick, and um, this is like a little bit of a deeper red. It's more of almost like a brick red, but just use whatever you want. Okay, that's it. I think I actually did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. I mean, I didn't, I don't think I f***ed up any more than I normally f*** up, so. I don't know what that says about me. Okay, so that's it. This is our classic beauty look um, for my first tipsy tutorial. Did you like this? Did you think this was stupid as fuck? Would you want me to do this again? Tell me in the comments because I will do whatever you want me to do. I mean, within reason. I'm not gonna like run a marathon or something. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.